Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Um, today we'll be doing uh, our trying foods that we've never tried before in New Zealand. I think you'll be impressed with what we've got. <laughs> you should let us know whether you've tried this, what your opinion is on them. Let's get right into it. Item number one. Is... Um, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I've already tried these. No, I've never tried those. No, I already have. What do you mean you already have? <laughs> Chewy caramel fudge crunchy balls and loads of chocolate. <laughs> you got a rude mind. Hey. Eh? You got a rude mind. What do you mean? Oh, me. You just dropped all of our balls on the ground. <laughs> There's a bit of chewy in it. Mm. It's like a um, caramel and then like a wafer with a little bit of peanuts in the middle. It gives like more teaser vibes, eh? Oh, yeah. That's the one. More teasers. I rate this chocolate a uh, 5 out of 10. Maybe a 6. I'll give it a 6 out of 10. Second one. So these just came out and um, they have like ones from Krispy Kremes. Is it Krispy Kremes? don't know. It's, um, from Krispy, Krispy Kremes and um, there's like all sorts of different flavours. They come in like little mini sized donuts and these are the, um, the malt stick ones. There's quite a bit in this um, package considering this is only a little box. It's actually quite a lot in there. They look like little um chocolate fingers. Mm. Those are nice. They just remind me of those chocolate finger biscuits. So I rate this about a seven. 7 out of 10? Yeah, I'll give it a 7. Yeah. That's 7 is like a good, decent rating. Yeah, it's fair. Yeah. Number 3. <laughs> Introducing Renee. Now these are um, Tokyo Tang kettle cooked potato chips. Um, in the flavour wasabi mayonnaise. So let's try her. Come on, man. Giving me real sushi, sushi shop vibes. <laughs> it smells yum, though. Giving me real sour cream and chives vibes. The first thing I thought about was bananas. What? This is not giving me banana vibes. I don't know what bananas you've had. <laughs> <laughs> I rate those about a six. Maybe like a. I'll give that a five. Oh. Number four. Mm. Mr. Brownie. Miss Girl, how you doing? I've been wanting to try her since we bought them yesterday. <laughs> I love coconut. And if you know, you know. She cute. <laughs> <laughs> She's thick or whatever. <laughs> oh, you can already smell the coconut. Oh. They look like. Oh, how they're cute. cute. They're cute. She'd be looking like a little cupcake. Oh, I want to know, is she moist? Is she moist? That's the real question. Mmm. 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 Ooh, this girl. That is moist. She was not playing around here. She is not dry at all. <coughs> this girl is moist. <laughs> 
felt like it had like coconut infused into the brownie. Mm. Upon that, it had the coconut on top. Yeah. Now, you saw earlier, they looked really small, but they filling. That was filling, eh? Yes, that was pretty. Oof, I'm going to have to give them a score of 10. Oh, Whew. she was not playing today. I'll give it about an 8. I'll give it an 8. That's a decent rating. Strong 8. <laughs> 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 mm, I just felt like another one. Number five. five. They're like shrimp crackers. Gizma. I like those. This tastes nice. I don't like these. No. I would not go out of my way to buy those. I will. I definitely will. So I'm going to have to give um, old Miss Shrimpy Shrimp a uh, <laughs> rating of a four. Oh, and that, four. That's being generous. I'm being kind. That's like a, I'll give that a seven. That was nice to me. I like that. At number six, we have introducing Harvest. almost Benny right here. Whew, she is strong. Mm. But she's smelling nice. It smells like strong soy. Yeah, it just it smells a lot like when you have um marinated steak. Yeah. Oh, I just picked my nose. This is what the chippy looks like. Oh, it's got a lot of flavor on it. I like those. That was nice. Strong honey and soy. Mm -hmm. I like it. I read that uh. Eight. I like. Uh, I liked that. Like I could carry on eating them. It's like a six to me. Eh? I wouldn't buy it again. A seven. Now, we don't even know how to eat these. We don't even know whether we're, we're meant to be eating them by itself. So we have um, bamboo shoot slices. Um, we know what bamboo sh bamboo shoots are. But slices. Um, yeah, so um, we don't know what to expect with this, but we're going to open her up and we're going to have a try. But that's what it looks like, if you can see it. I like chips. You don't get those. <laughs> that just tastes like they've been sitting in water for years. We'll rate her uh... a zero. A zero because we're well. It tastes maybe, like nothing. Maybe you have to cook it with something. It still doesn't make sense. It tastes like nothing. Maybe they like eat it with like mince or something. They cook it up with oh, uh, yeah. something else to give it a bit of flavor. But what would be the point of it though? There's like no flavor in it. Number eight item is Whitaker's. Whitaker's chocolate. Um, what flavor is that? Um. Buttermilk caramelized white chocolate with gingerbread biscuit. Mm. I, I wonder how this is going to taste. I'm not a very gingerbread kind of person. I, I like my chocolate plain and simple. Like I don't like it overpowered by too many flavors. And I feel like these little thin blocks are like just too much going on. Oh, I love Whitaker's. Eh? I love Whitaker's. Don't get me wrong, but gingerbread. These little skinny uh, ones, like, you know how they're quite fancy? Like, they have um, a lot of flavors going on, and I'm like your plain and simple kind of gal. Got a photo on it. <laughs> she kind of cute.
They like the, you know, like the chocolate. Mm. You must have ate the whole thing. I did, but I had to really like. It's <laughs> 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 a really like. <laughs> See the ratio between the chocolate and the gingerbread is giving. But Miss Girl, she's got a bit too much going on. I feel like that one piece was enough for me. And yeah. I like chocolate, like I can eat a line or so, but this one I felt like I could only eat a square and then I have to have something savoury. And then I could have another square later. But she's nice, don't get me wrong, she's nice. So I'd probably rate her about a 6, 6 out of 10. I'll give it yeah. a 6. 6 out of 10, mate. Okay, so we're on the... Uh, eight. Nine. We've missed count, so we're just gonna um, go right to it. Oh, nine. Squiggles. Griffins was not playing. So, majority of you have probably already tried the, um, the normal one. Caramel ones. Is it? Yes. Those are nice. The original packet. Now these are uh, raspberry jube. I don't know what that means. Hello, can we have the original squiggles back, please? Wish we my money. Ooh, Whoosh. she pretty. She. Fast and furious. You look pretty, or whatever. Oh yeah. A boom. Oh, these are special edition. Special edition. Mm. I like that. If I felt like a good sweet kick, I'm turning to her. I want to rate that like an eight. That's a quick, yeah, that's an eight. That's mm. nice. Yeah, I like that. That's nice. We're doing our very last one. Hmm. Uh, Avalanche bubble tea and they have been out on tiktok and people have been like going crazy about the bubble teas and um we went into the supermarket yesterday and we saw them they we, they had like caramel milk chocolate taro and we wanted to try this one and so um we've pre-made them they come five sachets in a box where we've um put them in the fridge to chill um and so we're gonna go try them and yeah they um come with straws um yes. so that's cool <laughs> instead of water we should have tried milk and mm. just trying it now yeah we should have tried milk mm. it says on the box to do it with water but um you sort of can tell when you're mixing the mix um that it's gonna be a little bit watery especially when it um contains like it tells you to put ice in and so when it has water, it has ice, it sort of makes the whole mix um, watery when it should be creamy. So I think the next time we do make them, we'll probably try it with um, milk. milk. Yeah. So I'm going to give the Miss Bubble Tea a whopping six. Oh. Yeah, a six. Because I think next time my rating might go up because... It's got milk in it. Yeah. yeah. I'll give it a seven. I quite liked it, but if it had milk in it, oh, mate. 
baby girl. And now we've come to the end of our uh, trying food video. If you enjoy these videos, please give us a like. If you are new to our channel, please subscribe. And see ya!